Hi, my beautiful Cancers. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Angel Love 333. Hope everybody's doing, oh my gosh, fantastic. Getting ready here to do your reading. Pulling some angel messages first. That one just flew out. There's another one. Let's get one more here for Cancer. Let's just get into this reading here. All right. Let's see what came out. All right. We got very soon. Clearly decide what you want. So it comes to you now. Interesting. Choose a new direction. So some of you are making some sort of decision about maybe moving towards something new in your life. Okay, or you know, it could also be that there is some sort of big change here that is coming up for you. Let's see what else comes out. Yeah, be assertive. Yeah, there's something here about you taking some sort of action. Now, I want to say here with this choose, uh, gosh, having a hard time here with this choose a new direction. I love this card because you could see like this person's on a stage and there is an audience here. There's people there and it's like there's some sort of decision that you're making, but it's almost like people are watching you. People are watching you and I feel like people look up to you uh, and I don't know what this is, Cancer. I'm going to say it could be any area of your life, but a lot of you, you know, I am using the Romance Angel, so this could be around love. Now, being assertive here, this is really about you doing something or making a decision that is best for you. And some of you may be deciding to go a whole nother direction in your life. I feel like it could be anything here, but it also definitely specifically to love. So you may be deciding to take some sort of new path. You also have here, keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ than your usual type and expectations. This almost feels like, Counselor, there could be like a new soulmate coming in for you, but it's going to be somebody different, I feel, is the energy I'm getting here. Somebody that maybe isn't your normal type. And so I would say, Cancer, ask yourself, ask yourself, is this is the is your usual type somebody that hasn't worked out? Okay, that's the energy that I'm picking up here. So I'm feeling cancer. There feels like there's a new soulmate here that's coming in for you. And look what else is on the bottom of the deck here. You got wedding. You got wedding. This situation involves marriage and you have calling in your soulmate. So cancer, I feel like you are manifesting a new soulmate in your life. And that's where you may decide here to change your direction. Now, let's uh, pull the cards. Let's see what the energy shows here for you. Thank you, Spirit and Angels, for your guidance. What messages do you have here for Cancer? What does Cancer need to know? What else does the energy show here for Cancer? Okay, Seven of Cups. Some of you may be having some options here. Eight of Pentacles, Four of Swords, okay, I guess these two want to come out, oh, the Lovers, Decision in Love, we have the Knight of Wands, the Ten of Wands, Three of Pentacles. And we also have here the Hangman. And bottom of the deck here, we do have uh, the Fool card. Okay. I feel like a lot of you are making some sort of decision here in your love life. Either, either you just feel like there's not a whole lot of change or movement in your love life is the energy I'm picking up. With this Hangman, definitely can be an energy of delays. Um, but I also feel like this could be a decision in love here for you with the hangman and the lovers could be dealing with a Gemini for some of you. But I, I see you kind of looking at things from a different perspective because there's this energy, like I said here, it says choose a new direction. And I feel like a lot of you may be taking that risk, that leap of faith 
in a new direction because look what happens. You have the Ace of Wands, some sort of opportunity. Now, what's interesting here is you have the Seven of Cups and you also have here the Ace of Wands. I mean, the Ace of Wands, the Knight of Wands. So I'm feeling, Cancer, this could be an indication. There's something that I feel you're questioning here around an individual. It could be a Aries, a Leo, a Sagittarius, somebody maybe who has been very hot and cold in your life or on and off in your life, something that hasn't been real consistent could be an indication that somebody here is returning. But tell me more about the Seven of Cups. Tell me more about the Seven of Cups. Oh, look at that. The Wheel of Fortune get another one tell me more about the seven of cups the page of wands okay cancer interesting feels like you your mindset for a lot of you is that you're kind of making the decision here to choose some sort of move in a new direction towards something new in your life I see communication here from somebody. It could be a fire sign. This card's popping out here. We got the sun card. Could be a Leo. Could be an energy here of hmm, a lot of potential with that person here. I feel like there could be options here because I feel like with this, this wheel of fortune, That you, be, you could be questioning, am I moving in the right direction? Some of you could be thinking about a past person. Am I making the decision to move forward? Because I almost feel here that there is a soulmate that's coming in for you. But you're kind of questioning because there's a, de there's a decision here. Very soon, clearly decide what you want. So it comes to you now. So some of you may be in a place of limbo. Like, should I completely let go of somebody here there's someone i feel that you still think about or you question things about but what's interesting is you have the sun card and you have the page of wands i'm feeling like some of you this is the idea because the page of wands can be somebody who it's like feather in their cap they have an idea you know i'm feeling optimistic but I feel like with the Seven of Cups, you're questioning it. And with that Wheel of Fortune, okay, the wheel here is removing things in your life that, that aren't supposed to be there. It's fate. It's karma. Some of you may have gone through a karmic situation. Now, let's clarify this Knight. Oh, my gosh. Knight of Wands. What came out here? Oh, my gosh. The Ten of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck, here we have the Page of Cups. Cancer. I'm almost feeling like Cancer. This even could be new love. Take it how it resonates. Some of you, it's new love. And some of you, I feel like there could be somebody here that is returning in your life could be a fire sign in Aries Leo Sagittarius take it how it resonates uh we'll see as we go who this is but I see somebody coming towards you I see an offer here with that page of cups so I feel like this could be somebody who's flirting with you this could be somebody who who you meet unexpectedly okay that could be this fate card here too Ten of Pentacles. It looks good. Remember, you have the situation involves marriage here. So, Cancer. OMG, what is going on here? Okay. Oh, and look, you got the Two of Pentacles. There's something here about weighing your options. You got two pages here, Cancer. I'm going to say for some of you, I feel like there could be two people here because you do have the lovers. Like I said, this could be a decision in love between two. But I'm sensing here, since there's two pages, there's a water sign here too. Could be another Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. 
I feel like, Counselor, there is a new person coming into your life, somebody who is not your normal type, somebody who could be different than your usual type. I feel like also there is somebody, um, and that may be what you're questioning here, somebody, some of you could be letting go of a toxic situation um, I feel here too with that devil energy or somebody who just was always casual, couldn't commit or take things to the next level. And that could be why I see here you making a decision to choose a new direction. But what's going to help you choose this new direction, Cancer, is I feel like there is a new love coming in for you. Something that could be very uh, stable, committed, long lasting situation involves marriage. Okay, but, they, but I feel like your angels are saying keep an open mind because this new soulmate that's coming in for you is different. We're going to pull more messages in a little bit here, but um, let's see who this is. But I'm going to keep going. So we have here the Eight of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands. So this could this could tell me, Cancer, that you may be letting go of a situation where you feel that you just tried to make it work and work and work but no matter what you did it didn't come together and that's where i see you making this decision letting go of this burden and i'm gonna say the full moons are all about releasing things in your life that just don't add value or bring you happiness so some of you are going through that healing right now. Tell me more about that, this Ten of Wands. Seven of Pentacles, Unjustice. Yeah, Cancer. I feel like there's someone you felt that you invested a lot of time with here with Justice. And you also have here the Seven of Pentacles. I see you kind of pausing. I see you reflecting here. Feeling like the situation wasn't fair to you. Could be dealing with a king of cups. Again, another water sign. Some of you were dealing with a water sign. Now, I see distance here from somebody. Separation here with the four of swords. This could be somebody thinking about you too. Um, mm. Look at showed up again, the full card and the, yeah, no, this is you, Cancer. This is you thinking. This is you thinking here. And I feel like a lot of you are in this place of, you know what? I may take that risk, that leap of faith towards something new. Look at that, three of pentacles. Some of you, I feel like there's two options here. And whether both options are in your life or not, it may be upcoming here. Tell me more about this three of pentacles. Tell me more about this three of pentacles. Seven of Wands. King of Pentacles. Yeah. I feel like Cancer, you're meeting somebody new. Somebody that is more stable here with the King of Pentacles. I see the Seven of Wands as your destiny as well, like working towards your destiny, overcoming the challenges and the obstacles and look what the next card is here look at the empress you've ascended i feel you have awakened and you're in this beautiful and i'm getting chills this beautiful uh empress energy the universe is bringing you some sort of new opportunity cancer with this ace of wands energy I feel like a lot of you have been in this reflection energy and pausing, thinking about what you invested with somebody. I feel like a lot of times, Cancer, you will have these random thoughts. This one picking up here at the Seven of Pentacles. Like you have these random thoughts of things that you did with this person. And sometimes, sometimes, I, I mean, I feel like you will hear you know, things that were said. And I see you reflecting on that and feeling this wasn't fair to you with justice. But I also feel like with justice here, that's why the universe is bringing you something new. And I'm going to say some of you does feel like this could be a blessing coming towards you, good karma coming towards you, because I feel like with this 10 of wands, you've really struggled with this. 
you've really struggled with this situation with this person. Tell me more about this hangman. It's also an epiphany energy. Yeah, look at that. Seven of Swords and the Moon card could be dealing with a Pisces or dealt with a Pisces. This could be somebody who's very avoidant, somebody who has not communicated in a while or giving you any answers to what has happened. And I feel like it's the not knowing here that is really hard for you. You've got, look at that, Page of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. You have three pages in your reading, Cancer, so this tells me there's definitely, I feel, somebody new coming into your life here. And that just maybe gives you this little push to make a decision here to go towards new love. This is what's changing. This is what's transforming. But not all of you, but some of you like are in this worry energy. Am I making the right decision? Because the Seven of Cups, I feel like some of you are questioning, should I let go of this connection? Am I making the right decision? Mm -hmm. Some of you, it could be these two energies are going to come into your life at the same time or around the same time. But... Let's get some, um, I'm going to pull some energy on the past, on this past person that I feel has been, you're making some sort of decision here of whether to completely let this go. What's the energy here with this past person for cancer? What's the energy here for this past person with cancer? Yeah, look at that. Ace of Swords. Newfound clarity. Nine of Swords. See, that's what I'm saying here. I feel like a lot of you like keep reliving what happened between you and this person. This is reliving past trauma. So you are thinking, a lot of you are thinking about, as I said here, like the things that were not fair to you, how this person treated you. Some of you may also be thinking about the good memories as well. Yeah, ten of coin. Yeah. I feel like a lot of you um, are thinking about why this person could never like give you the stability, the security that you were looking for, or the, you know, even commitment here. Yeah. Five of Swords. You felt like this person was playing games or there could have been a third party situation going on here. And it can also be somebody who just was, you felt like, this is a ruthless energy. This is someone who was not considerate of your feelings. They did what they wanted to do for themselves. Okay. Somebody who didn't think about your feelings. And yeah, look, the moon, they kept you in the dark with a lot of things here. So I feel like cancer, this is somebody, this is somebody who has been avoiding, I feel, taking responsibility. Let's see, um, will cancer hear from this person? Let's see what comes out. Got the three of wands, got the four of coin, hmm. got the devil, could be dealing with a Capricorn. And the King of Swords. Could be dealing with Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. So, Cancer. Yes, you're going to hear from this person at some point here. Okay. I feel like what's going to happen, Cancer, and this is usually how it always happens, but I feel like once you make the decision and you start putting yourself out there and you start dating, here comes this person. They're going to try and interfere with anything new that you have, you know, whether they feel this energetically or, it, you know, they know somehow, some way. They're going to try and hold on to you here with this for a coin is really what I'm getting. But what I have to say is this is somebody here with the devil and the king of swords. I feel like this is someone who is not honest. 
somebody who um, hasn't been honest with you in the past and I feel like when they come around they're still not going to be honest they haven't changed this is someone the devil energy somebody who repeats a pattern or doesn't you know they don't evolve they don't want to change here counselor this is what I'm seeing in the energy um, but let's see let's see what the new energy tell counselor more about this new love energy Okay, King of Wands. This is this is the King of Wands. I don't know. Sometimes the King of Wands gets a bad rap, but the King of Wands is very dependable. This person's dependable. They're very goal oriented. They're somebody very assertive. They go after what they want. Where this other energy that I feel like Cancer you have dealt with in the past is somebody who's very avoidant. They can't communicate their feelings. You know, they avoid doing that. This is someone who, who will, who will take action towards you, Cancer. Yeah, look at this, Six of Wands. This is someone I feel has goals. This is someone who, you know, they, they plan their future. They know what they're looking for. Where this other person, I feel like kept you in limbo. Yeah, Eight of Wands. Gosh, could be a fire sign. Um, could be an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius. I'm picking up strong Leo because you've got Leo on the bottom of the deck. This is someone I feel they're very passionate. They're very, um, I feel, I feel like they have a good outlook on life. The Eight of Wands tells me that things could actually take off pretty quickly. Now, the, this person may come on strong to you. Um, is the other energy that I feel, Cancer. So let's see what else comes out about this new person. Oh, wow. They're ready, Cancer. They're coming up as an emperor. And look what's on the bottom of the deck. You will not believe this. The empress. This is your divine counterpart, Cancer. I said it here too, the wedding. I feel like this is someone you could marry. This is somebody for the long term. Now, for those of you, though, I feel are still like questioning this past situation or reliving the past here i feel like spirit is guiding you look take that risk that leap of faith it doesn't hurt right it doesn't hurt and i told you this person's going to come around you know i feel like once you start moving in that new direction because that new direction here is you is here it is again choose a new direction and people are going to be talking. I feel like there's people around you when you start dating this new person. People are going to be talking, Cancer. Because there's something about you, Cancer, I feel with this energy that people look up to you. They watch your actions. Okay? They may see you as very driven. You know, like when something happens in Cancer's life. And it is big people notice, okay? So I don't know what that is, um, you know, but I feel like you're moving in a new direction if you take that risk, that leap of faith, I feel, to your divine counterpart. That's why this, this Wheel of Fortune is here because I feel a lot of you are closing out a cycle with somebody that just can't change. They, ha they don't have the desire to change here as the devil, okay? This is someone uh, very avoidant. They're very um, emotionally unavailable. They're detached from their feelings, not just because it's the king of swords, but I saw the seven of swords energy, and, and to me, that is somebody who's very avoidant, and that's why they can't tell the truth. And I feel like this person's going to come back around, and they can't tell the truth because this person would rather indulge in things that are destructive it could be drama you know this person could be somebody who likes the drama or likes you know go, moves from one thing to the next bigger better right to see what they can get and i feel like cancer spirit and your angels are trying to show you here that there is a divine counterpart coming in here for you divine feminine divine masculine somebody who is ready somebody who's dependable so 
I'm going to close it out, Cancer. I'm going to pull a full few of these love orbitals and see what else comes out for you, Cancer. What else can you share with Cancer? Okay, so we have temporary relief. Distractions aren't a quick fix for deeper issues. This is illusion, danger, and therapy. Yeah, this person is not healthy for you, Cancer. That's what they're trying to show you here. I don't know, some of you, this could be somebody who has some sort of pill addiction. I don't know, I'm seeing pills, um, you know, or some sort of addiction, but there's something toxic about this person. I don't know, maybe this person needs to be on meds. I'm just saying that's not going to be everybody's message, but some of you may have even had to go to therapy because of this person. And it says distraction here. So again, I feel like once you take a, a step towards this new direction, this person energetically is going to feel that. They're, they're not going to feel your energy anymore. And that's when this person's going to come around and they're going to try and distract you off this path to your divine masculine or your divine feminine. Yeah, look at that. Frozen heart. Empathy and warmth melts barriers for true connection. So this is a rapport, believe, and respond. Okay, I feel like this person, you know, the energy I'm really getting here is that you, Cancer, are very empathetic. You have a warm heart. And I feel like that's what you give this person. You have a very healing energy about you. That's what keeps bringing this person back to you because this person is avoided. They're emotionally unavailable. So they get that feeling, you know, that love, emotion feeling from you. And so they keep coming back. And it's interesting because it says here temporary relief. So they probably come to you in times when they're not feeling good about themselves. And so I feel like cancer, you give this person like a little bit of an ego boost. You give them an ego boost and you also, you know, they feel a very healing energy from you. But I will say their heart chakra is not, is closed. Yep, look at that. Yep, poker face. Here it is again, the trickster. Somebody who has not been honest with you. They have. They may have been deceitful. That was that ruthless energy we talked about. Somebody who has... Um, hidden motives okay somebody who is not always honest with you yeah there's the ego and the pride there but it's also um somebody who is very dominant and likes to be in control oh we got um avoid burnout yeah they come around for the passion um but it also can be you and this person have a very intense passion Okay, storms of love, yeah. So I feel like this person comes for, you know, the, in, the intensity, the passion here. And see, it says conflict is an opportunity in growth and change. So this could be someone where, you know, you're on and off and then they come back around. It's very passionate, stormy type of love. And then, you know, they're gone again. But I feel like Cancer or Spirit's trying to show you that there is a new love coming in for you if you want it. And I feel like I just want to get a few more messages. So it's your decision, Cancer. But I feel like from what I'm seeing from this reading, this new love energy looks something more stable and secure. Yeah, small steps here. It says here, the small steps, I'm sorry, the small wins, the small triumphs, the everyday victories, celebrate them. They will take you there. Slow and steady, uh, careful actions. So, Cancer, I feel like they're telling you that with this new love energy, to take it slow and steady because slow and steady wins the race, right? That's the energy you're going to have when you are going to be with somebody for the long term. Okay, we got good choices here. Expect a positive outcome from the good choices you have made in the past in alignment for thought. Okay, so counselor, this is about you making good choices 
And um, I feel like a lot of you may have already walked away from a situation or decided to move in a new direction, but some of you are questioning why right, that decision. And that's what it says here, right? A positive outcome based on the good choices that you made for you. And then you also have here set in center stage, beautiful energy here. You're not meant to be on the sidelines. Let your wishes and dreams take center stage, attention, fame, and important. This is about you. This is someone who made you feel on the sidelines. This is about you getting out there because there is somebody new coming into your life. And they are going to make you important in their life. They are going to make you a priority with this energy. This is someone who didn't make you a priority, Cancer. And I feel like that's what Spirit's trying to show you, that you can have so much more or so much more is coming towards you. That's the blessing that I'm feeling here with this wheel. Okay, The wheel keeps on turning. Things happen in our life for a reason we don't understand why it happens but there's some sort of blessing that is coming through for you cancer so i hope you enjoyed your reading cancer i hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening and i'm sending you angel life